Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Sloan at The Gear Cage, and this is gonna be a fun one. I get a lot, and I mean a metric ton of questions about Pro Tools licensing. And since the reinstatement licenses went away a year or so ago, I didn't have a good route for a huge percentage of Avid Pro Tools uh, users or their customer base to go to until now. Let's get to it. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more updates like this and to spread the word on this particular promotion as fast as possible since it is a bit time limited. Now, if you've seen my Pro Tools Licensing Explained video uh, linked up above in the corner, you'll know that a critical part of that was talking about this particular reinstatement skew for expired perpetual licenses. And unfortunately, those went away a little over a year ago until now. Now, if you want to learn more about how the license works and what it is, keep watching. And if not, you can click the link below in the top of the description field to read more about it or pick one up directly from Sweetwater. Now, first, let's talk about licensing fundamentals with Pro Tools. Remember, there are two types of Pro Tools licenses. You've got subscriptions that you can buy per month or per year, and then you have perpetual licenses that you own indefinitely. Now, on the subscription licenses, you have to continue paying a subscription fee or you lose access to the software. You can think of it like a magazine subscription. If you stop paying, they stop sending magazines. If you don't keep a Pro Tools subscription current, you can't open the software until you get it current. A perpetual license, on the other hand, is a piece of software that you actually own. Now, Avid also has an update plan. This is kind of where it gets confusing, where you can pay $199 a year to always get the latest version of the software when you own a perpetual license. So it isn't the same as a subscription because if you don't pay, you just lose the ability to upgrade or get your Pro Tools license current in the future. So that's what happened when they got rid of the reinstatement. You couldn't get it current anymore. Uh, so to make it easier, we're just going to call the reinstatement an upgrade SKU. So if you didn't want to pay $199 a year, you didn't have to, but then if you needed to upgrade in the future, you'd have to either exchange your perpetual license to a subscription uh, at a discounted rate typically, or buy a whole new perpetual Pro Tools license. And for the basic version of Pro Tools, that was $600. So kind of a pricey endeavor to uh, entertain. But now as of December 2nd, Avid has temporarily brought back the Pro Tools upgrade um, reinstatement license for expired perpetual licenses. That means that you can get your version of Pro Tools current for $299, even if you haven't had it current in many years. I think the cap is Pro Tools 9. So that's pretty incredible. That's, that's so old at this point. Uh, but this is very, very time limited. That's the most important thing on this video. So make sure you buy it by 123121. Um, that upgrade SKU that you buy won't ever expire, so you can hold on to it for a while as well. You could even technically buy two of them, use one now, and save one for three or four years in the future uh, to, to take advantage of it again. Now, I'm hoping that we at Sweetwater will stock up on SKUs at the end of this promotion to continue to offer it for an extended period, but if you need to upgrade or keep your Pro Tools perpetual license current, this is the time to do it, and this is the one for you. So again, you can click on the link below in the description to be taken to the page uh, with the right product for either Pro Tools Standard or Pro Tools Ultimate, or you might know it as Pro Tools HD. Uh, so look for that link. And as always, if you do have any other questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer and explain. I'm Ryan Sloan for The Gear Cage, and I'll see you again next time.